you guys welcome back to the needy home center channel i'm gonna turn off my truck i'm out here during uh oh it's icing outside oh i'm not ready i'm not ready for the winter i'm not ready for the winter there's eric's car um but look at i got a cute purse with my little fur purse <laughs> amazon ah anyway hi guys so today a little housekeeping video um just giving you an update i just left my dentist i'm home now but i just left my dentist office and i'm healing up really well i do have as you see it do you see that little white that is around one of my implants it's like extra gum tissue if you will um so they have a call into my surgeon right now to see if he wants to remove that extra um <laughs> extra uh gum I, I it does not sound pleasant so i didn't even ask if it was gonna hurt i didn't ask if they had to put me under i didn't ask if they just could give me a shot and numb it or they could just cut it off at this point but <sighs> I don't want to know at this point i don't want to know you guys i just want to be healed <laughs> so but the rest of my gums the implants that i have i have two at the bottom i got on there and i got on there and i got one up there and then i've got a three more i got three more that um had to be taken out and re-put back in because once they remove so much extra bone from me, remember when I, I, I explained it in another video, um, once they removed all that bone, my some of my implants were not stable. So those had to be removed and replaced. And so that's why I'm now, I, I'm kind of like, you know, I took a few steps backwards. But as of right now, everything is healing. Everything looks really good. Um, except this one, which if we can just cut some flesh off, <laughs> we might be golden. I said the sooner the better because I'm right now I'm still in the healing process and I don't want to take two steps back again. So they totally understood. Um, they're going to call me as soon as they hear from the surgeon. He's in surgery right now. So, um, so we'll, we'll know soon what's going to happen with that. Um, but my next surgery is at the end of February, though that will be where the um, other implants that I have that are healing will be capped off. They'll be um, topped off. You know, they'll have the little implant inserted. And then I believe now I have to I have to heal after that. Um, but then we can start the process of making my denture implants, my my permanent teeth. So, um so we won't be doing that probably until March. Um, so I'm hoping that I have teeth by my birthday, which is May. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. It, 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 it's a long road. Um, until then, I'm eating soft food. I'm a lot of soups, a lot of stews, broth. Um, I'm doing uh, protein uh, drinks, um, a lot of extra protein like that. So um, I'm mashing beans. I eat a lot of beans. Um, because they're great protein. Um, I can do rice with that. So beans and rice, um, and things like that. Um, I can do eggs. Um, I can do some soft bread. I can't do crust or anything like that, but I can do soft bread, yogurts, um, but a lot of carbs. It's just a lot of carbs. So I have gained a little weight from it, but <laughs> that'll come off once I'm able to eat. Um, you know, I can eat some veggies if they're like zucchini, yellow squash, if I saute them a lot and make them soft. Um, but I can't do anything like, and once in a while I can do green bean, but I can't do anything like no corn. Um... I can do uh, butternut squash. Um, I can do sweet potatoes. But see, then we we'll get back into carbs. So, um, unfortunately, it just is what it is. I can I, I got to stick with soft food, especially while my posts are exposed. Because these aren't meant to be exposed. They're meant to have a denture implant in them. So, um, I do have temporary dentures that I was just refitted with. I have them. I have them with me. I got the uppers done. I did not get the lowers done because of this. Um, but once this is handled, um, I'll be able to get the, the lower ones refitted now that a lot of my bone it has changed. So 
that's where we are with that. Um, tomorrow, for those of you who do Barn 45 Highland with me, uh, the Bible studies weekly, they run Monday through Friday. I'll leave a link down below to where you can um, go over to their YouTube channel. They have a playlist. They do a lot of Bible studies. There's a man's Bible study um, that they record that you can watch over there. So if you're a man and you're interested in a Bible study with all men, they offer that. Um, but I do the, the, the daily Bible study at 9 a.m., except on Fridays. Sometimes they do 8 a.m. on Fridays. Um, but I love it. We're sitting in Genesis. We're in chapter 30. Um, we are uh, in verses 11 through 18, I believe, right now. And tomorrow, I am going to be a special guest over at Barn 45 um, for the Bible study. I don't know what the Holy Spirit will have me share. Um, I know usually special guests share their testimony. So I will be sharing some of my testimony there. But I'm really, um, really humbled, really honored um, to be going there and um, participating in a Bible study that I, that has absolutely changed my life and my walk with the Lord. So uh, what they're doing there is, is just awe-inspiring. And... Um, when you get on the grounds there, it's so holy. You can feel the Lord and it's incredible. So um, so I will be there tomorrow morning hosting, co-hosting, co-hosting with Joy. I'm so excited. I'll be seeing Nicole over there. She does the Fridays. And so um, I'm super excited. I'm just super excited. Uh, so, um, I got to pack up some eggs to bring the ladies, I'll bring them some eggs and maybe some jam <laughs> and bring some gifts of love with me. So, um, if you watch over there, I'll be over there tomorrow morning. And then, um, I wanted to also let you guys know, cause I know you guys have been praying, um, for Jenny Appleford and her family. Um, I did wake up this morning to um a video her husband kyle made i will leave that link down below uh, so you can go over and watch and um give your condolences and uh your love and your prayers you guys your prayers um i did not do a um a prayer circle Friday last Friday because um, I just wasn't feeling up to it after I made that last video there was a lot of spiritual war warfare that was happening um, and that is because there was a gathering of the Saints praying and anytime that happens anytime you are impacting and moving in the spiritual realm the enemy will come they will come for you and um, so I ask that you continue to pray for Kyle and those babies and her sister and her best friend and just all of her, all of her friends, all of her family, um, but especially for Kyle as he now navigates this new path. I know he was speaking this morning um, in that video about the emptiness, the quiet, the stillness. And um, as a widow um, who experienced that, it, the, the, the quietness is so deafening. Um, but for me, I mean, now that I can look back three years now, almost three years, I can look back and um, I can see how where I felt alone. I wasn't. I wasn't. The Lord sat with me the entire time. And the entire time, I felt the love that my husband left with me. And so, um, being an encourager for Kyle right now as he's navigating this, it just, it what seems like an almost impossible road to travel. Um, pray for him. That's what got me through was your prayers. Your prayers made such a difference in my healing, in my recovery, in my walk in widowhood. 
I could not have done it without the power of prayer. The, the fact that so many of you prayed over me, prayed over my children. Um, it was life changing. There is such power in prayer. And as prayer warriors, we bring down the kingdom of heaven when we pray. And when we pray in such an enormous amount of people, you know, in numbers like that, it's so powerful. We, <laughs> we shake the spiritual realm with those prayers. And, um, and it's incredible to be a part of it. And it's incredible when you're experiencing it. So trust me when I say um, Jenny felt our prayers. Kyle's going to feel our prayers. His babies are going to feel our prayers. Um, her family and her friends are going to feel our prayers. Just keep praying. So if you can just remember them um, in your daily prayers, I would be... Um, I would be so thankful and grateful to you because as somebody who who had that and experienced that you know, sometimes I'd be laying in my hospital bed um, in that ICU and the wave of warmth would would run over me um, sometimes days when I I really struggled getting out of bed uh, when I was learning how to walk again and the pain was so excruciating you know I had to walk on two broken feet um, a leg that I almost lost um, but two broken feet couldn't bear any weight on my arms because I had two broken wrists so the pain was so incredible and so intense and all of a sudden this warmth would come over my body and I would feel like I would have I would have some of the nurses praying over me and I would just feel all of a sudden this this strength from inside that I didn't even know I had so keep praying you guys keep praying it makes a difference and I love you all so much. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow over at Barn 45. I'll leave a link down below. When when they set up the link tomorrow, I will try to get on my social media. I'll, I'll post it over on my community tab here on YouTube. I'll also post it over on Facebook, on my Facebook page, so you guys can find it. And um, I love you guys. I love you so much. Um, and I will see you then again on Friday for our prayer circle. All right. Okay. You guys take care. Mwah, mwah. Stay safe if you're up here in Michigan. Because <laughs> I think it's starting to change over to rain now. But man, when I was driving to the dentist, the, the ice was just bouncing off my truck. So um, stay safe as the weather is changing. I think we're supposed to have a good weather travel day uh, tomorrow. I hope we're leaving here tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. It's a long drive down. It'll be a long drive back. Um... I think it's seven hours round trip. So, um, but Wendy's going to come with me, my girlfriend Wendy, and we're going to stop. We're probably going to have some mid some Middle Eastern food while we're down there because our families don't really like it. So, um, so we'll be able to have, you know, some, some uh, Middle Eastern food while we're downstate um, and have a lot of girlfriend chat. So I look forward to the drive with Wendy. Uh, but I love you guys and I will see you back here on Friday. All right, take care.